DA wants the IEC to tighten up the Political Party Funding Act to ensure that political parties cannot subvert its objectives. This is specifically in regards to the 15 million rand received by the ANC from its Chancellor House Trust funding vehicle. Chancellor House was once at the centre of controversy, having been a BEE partner of power construction giant Hitachi in a contract to nuclear power stations Kusile and Mudupi six years ago. Unsubstantiated allegations were that Hitachi used Chancellor House to get tenders with ESCOM and in turn received so-called success fees. Hitachi paid 19 million rand to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to conclude the matter. Really can't see how this 15 million rand was not donations received from somewhere and then funneled to the ANC. But the IEC says there is a two-phase compliance arrangement pertaining to the disclosure of a donation and at this stage it is not empowered to probe non-disclosure or force political parties to disclose. We didn't look at who... Who, 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 who the, the, the trustees are, because we don't go to that extent. We look as to whether it is South African, uh, it's a South African registered trust. If it is, it is allowed to donate to whoever it wants to donate to. However, if there's a prima facie evidence that can be brought before the commission, and then it will be looked at legally. Who are the trustees are? Are they allowed to donate? Um, or to give dividends. One expert says that a number of loopholes exist in the Political Party Funding Act, which can be exploited by mischievous political parties. He added that there were a number of issues to consider in relation to the Chancellor House ANC donation. The ANC's misgiving with Chancellor House Trust is that they should be able to benefit as much as possible. But now, with the cap on a single donor per annum. It actually frustrates them because there may be more funds held at Chancellor House uh, that could be of use to the political party. The question then becomes, uh, probably, instead of the concern being about Chancellor House concealing certain monies, is whether or not in future there would be transactions from Chancellor House to other entities and then those entities can uh, then donate to the ANC. The IEC has urged citizens to wait until the end of the financial year for reports from the Commission, which would stipulate all disclosures made and deal with the non-disclosures by political parties, noting that the Act provided both criminal and civil sanctions which might be meted out by the courts. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.